Yeah. Yeah, it definitely adds to the adds to the quality with the likes of those guys come up as we see Cormac getting us kicked off here. He's made a ball into the centre with that cut break that he always goes for. Um, yeah, he's been he's been making that the the yellow that you contact. He's been making that one a lot into the middle pocket. But the one thing I did notice about that break is he seemed to hit that a lot more pace than, than I was watching him mm. in, in play earlier. It's a very effective break. He's, he's so making he's a ball nearly every time. Yeah, and he's gone for his awkward ball here. Uh, I mean, this is the only real awkward ball he had, and he's landed perfect. He can just follow through and leave himself on the side rail here, and he's in pretty good shape. Um, I'll put you on the spot, Stevie. Just just continuing what we were what we we're talking about there. Could, could, can you can you pick a winner out of uh, the players that are left? I think it's hard to look past Phil. Yeah. Just given the form he's in, like I mean, since probably October, September, October, Phil's probably been the best player on the tour. Um, you know, and he he won two events uh, last year. Like he's and he got to the semis of another one. So he's he's been in a ridiculously good form. Um, but he's one of those players. If you look at the last two or three years it, by his standards it's probably been fairly quiet for yeah, him yeah no it, it has been but uh, he's really come to the fore now I think he's just he's just got used to the I think it took him a while to get used to the, the whole ultimate setup and the yeah. change and you yeah. know the match clock it's caught him out a few times yeah um, none more obvious than when he played me in one of those events where he's time fouled pretty much cost him the match um, but I think uh yeah, he's he's been terrific for him for the last couple of months. I think he's just sort of maybe thrown the whole thing out the window in terms of worrying about the clock and stuff like that. He's just getting down and playing his game. He seems a lot more comfortable here looking at it as uh, we see Cormac cut through this finish. Um, yeah, so it's a nice start for Cormac. Eagle-eyed referee Arch looking to make sure there was no foul. And there definitely won. That's a a nice clearance. It's a good break. They opened up. Everything was there, but it's uh, it was pretty clinical from Cormac. Um, at these ultimate events, you know, I was surprised not to see him win one of the Challenger Series events last year, but he just snuck in. As we see, Dom just going to the top corner and slightly unlucky got kicked in. But I suppose when you're flirting with that top corner of the table and the balls are floating towards it, there's always a chance you can get knocked in. But this looks like another very presentable chance for Cormac. Um, not sure if that one pot that's over the pocket. He might have to play this one in off. I don't, you can, well, he obviously does. He's going here. Uh, it's a little bit careless. But mm. That's why I was sort of thinking I might have played. I might have played that one that he's close to now in off that one just to nudge it out. Yeah, he's got. Or maybe maybe there was a small gap that he was trying to get on that yellow that's closest to the top cushion, but he's in a bit of trouble here now. Yellow off the yellow into the middle, I think. Yeah. Nah, just just missed just the uh, the line. Just didn't get it, so yeah. I let off for Dom. Isn't yeah. it ever? And uh, do we look back on that at the end of the match and think that, that was a quite a big moment? That was a decent opportunity there for Cormac, with ball in hand. And now that opportunity goes across to Dom. And he's come a little bit too far. I think he wants to leave the angle to kick out the other one, but yeah, he mightn't mightn't actually play that shot if he doesn't have the angle. He Kay. might end up playing this right to the top left corner and getting rid of the two down the bottom, but he still seems to think he's still okay. He can he can he can probably yeah he can stun straight into the red here. I yeah. Think. Oh. And that's just that's about okay. Yeah, that is okay. That's a that's a good shot. Yeah, it's not too bad because he can he can leave himself tight on the rail here, and he just has to play a little gentle screw back on the one that's on the rail. Then he can drift down. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah he could put all his focus into just dropping that in. Didn't need to do anything with the cue ball. And again, with this shot. I mean, he's going to be hugging. He pretty much the wants cushion. to get the white back to where it is here. Yeah, yeah. And he's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, he's perfect there. Has he come a little bit short? You can still use the yellow, I suppose, to yeah. make the, you know whatever angle he needs. But 
the fact he's come away kind of an inch and a half yeah. from the cushion as well is going to help him. Just means that he's got that little bit more opportunity to manipulate the cue ball. I think he's fine here. He just can just drift down to the left hand side of the table. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, he's gone a little bit far. That is. That's pretty careless. That is. You know, anything for short there because he, he could have been on the cut into the corner on the other yeah. one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And he's in no man's land here. He's got his extension as well, but I don't really see anything on here except maybe a cut to the top right hand corner. I think that's all he's gonna be able to play. He's looking at the treble but I don't like that. I prefer the cut personally, yeah, I think. Because you can screw it into the yellow. I think you get closer to the cut than you do you do the treble. Especially the way these these are these tables have been playing. I'm so guaranteed that the white's gonna get out of the way here. Yeah. Most people. Told, yeah. Oh, is he flicked it? No. And uh, he's left this yellow at the bottom of the table, which is a nice opener for Cormac. No, Cormac doesn't, oh. but his body language doesn't seem to think he's on it. No. Wow. Well, that is a bit of a let off then. I thought he was on this. Now, suddenly, it's. It's horrible. I think I'd try and play a little snooker on the cover the one in the middle. Yeah. Oh, he's, he looks like he's taking this on. It's a great shot. Yeah, I think I f it felt like it was one of those situations where laying the snooker was probably as tricky as the, the pot mm -hmm. was. You know, he just he felt the attacking was the better option. Played a great pot. not quite got that cue ball under control yet. I he's think he's fine. Yeah, he's still okay. But uh, he was trying to get higher up the table, trying to take that one up in bulk, I think. But he's got this one as his recovery. Yeah. You can just play this as a stop shot now and leave short position on the yellow next to it. a nice angle to come down here. He's home and hose, so Dom will be disappointed with that. Although it was Cormac who was in first to be relieved to get a second bite at the cherry. So I'd be using the side cushion here and just come back, bounce it off if Danny were down to the middle of the table. It looks like he's playing at the top. I prefer your way, Stevie. I always would do, only because... There's no risk yeah. of snooker or going wrong. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and also you're playing into the line of the eight, so yeah. you, you, your margin of error is is, is 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 massive. Whereas the way he's played it there, I mean, it, it worked absolutely perfectly. But the way he's played it, your margin of error is probably only yeah. six or seven inches. Otherwise, you've got a bit of a smelly pot. That yellow to the right corner, yeah, it's gone again. And these have come up lovely again. I mean, I think that yellow is made the same yellow in the first two breaks to the bottom corner. Yeah. In it's, almost, it's almost like a straight plant. Yeah. In, in his um, earlier match, it's the ball that he was connecting was making, was finding its way into the middle pocket. And I think that tends to be the ball you target. But, um, he's, found a, he's found another shot here in terms of, like, he knows that ball's going to go to the bottom, so he's playing that cut break with a lot more power than he was earlier. Mm. I think when you play it more gently, it, it keeps that, that the yellow you contact on, on line to middle. Yeah, and I, I don't think he wanted to take these two up here no. first. I think he's came a bit loose. He wanted to be on one of the ones down the bottom, but still fine. He just needs to mind his work and you know, pick the ball that he wants to use as yeah. his... Last ball to get on to. I, th I think it's the one that's in the middle of the tree is going to be his last ball. Yeah. And he can just go one cushion across. So he'll take the inside one of these, you would imagine. But I mean, he can use either, whichever one. It's hard to tell which is the best angle from the overhead, but. Or from our angle, but. Um, yeah, and that's what he's doing. So he's going to top through it. A bit of run inside here. Oh. Well. This wouldn't be the obvious ball to get onto the eight. 
No, I definitely wouldn't have been going this way. He's not happy. He's got too much angle on this as well, which means he's really going to have to try and kill that cue ball. He, he, playing off this bottom yellow, there's only so close that he can get to there. He's landed really good. It's a good yeah. break shot he's played. Yeah. But like you, you would imagine this is going to flick the red, and he can't get that close to the, to the black. But yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. It's still a, you know, obviously this is a very gettable late ball, but I think with the other way, you were guaranteed to be up around the centre mm. pocket. Yeah, it just adds a a tiny level of of difficulty. We yeah, actually still, pick still fancy him to get it now, but. Talking to um Oh he played that very badly. Do you know so um I was And he's not gonna he's not gonna thank me for giving him the commentator's card well, there. I was talking to Sean Chipperfield earlier. We were we were commentating on his on his previous match against Carl Sutton and uh, and Cormac had, had missed the ball down the rail and Sean said, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to him afterwards because I think I've seen him play a number of shots like this now and it seems like he struggles that that seems like a weak part of his game yeah. and maybe just something he really needs to focus on and, and I've got the feeling like if they've had that conversation it might be in his head a little bit now as well you know because that's a that's a couple that we've seen him miss today but uh, not even uh, it was the manner he missed that way like because he was so far away he looked like he was trying to play it with some sort of side when yeah. it was almost a dead straight shot yeah. you, can, you can't really play that with, with, with side um, or there's no need to anyway. That was exactly the point that, that Sean Chipperfield was making. That when you play those shots, it's a, it's a different stroke. And, yeah. and, and that's not the stroke he's playing. It's an unnatural stroke for that kind of shot. And, um, yeah, maybe the fact that he's missed a few, even if they haven't had that conversation, maybe the fact he's missed a few, it, it's in his head now that he's not playing that shot very well. And, uh, yeah, maybe that is an area that he just needs to focus, uh, his, uh, focus his attention on, focus his practice on. Because it is... You do play that those kind of shots with a, just a slightly different stroke. It needs to be more confident. It needs to be more pace. You really fancy didn't make that as well, though, didn't you? I mean, it was a very makeable eight ball. Yeah, he'd, but he'd kicking I mean, himself. Going back to what we were saying about the tracking it off the yeah. wrong ball, it, yeah. it wasn't the correct ball to yeah. track it off. Well. Yeah. I certainly don't think so anyway. Be because actually, if he's if he's near the middle pocket, that eight really is then unmissable. Yeah. Dom will be relieved anyway. He'll be happy. I should say. Missed it. Yeah. And Dom goes for the cut break. Didn't feel like he, he timed that at all. And you can see they, they just... They really didn't open up. Yeah, he did. It just, yeah, he, he felt like he hit it quite well. It just didn't open for him. Yeah. Um, you can see he put a decent bit of power into it, but I'm not going to comment on the cup break because uh, I don't know too much about it. It's not something I've ever, you know, apart from whenever I'm trailing and need to make a golden eight ball in the last <laughs> frame or something like that. It's the only time you'd really see me use it, but I'm not very good at it. I don't practice it, so... I'm not going to comment on whether or not someone's got a good cut break or not. Is it just because, you know, it's, you know, I mean, you've got a great, you've got a great football break, you know, real, real power in it. Is it just because, you know, you just rely on your front ball break? Is yeah, I, I, I've, I have tried the cut break like half a dozen times here and there. Man, I'm terrible at it, so right. I'm just, yeah, not going to try and do it. Nah. I think I think it's more reliable my front, front ball break to keep with that. I mean, it's a handy thing to have in your arsenal if if mm -hmm. the front ball's not working. Yeah. It's 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 a nice one to have. What, what's your what's your kind of um, what's your change up then? What's your you know if the, if if your normal break's not working, what is what is your change up? Do you just move the, the, the cue ball slightly to the to the side or? I mean, sometimes yeah, you have to try and move it, but um, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Really, <laughs> some days the balls just aren't going in for yeah. you, like uh, yeah. no matter how well you're hitting them. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I I don't. Apart from when I'm over here, I for sometimes it straight down centre seems to work for me. But yeah. a lot of the time in matches, you'll see me starting out like halfway between the centre and the cushion. Um, I I used to I used to struggle a lot um, with the breaking from the centre. Um, onto the front ball 
and, and losing losing the cue ball into the into the middle pocket, <laughs> yeah. I used to struggle a lot. So um, my go-to now is where the eight ball is on this table um, here, um, just on the bulk line. I kind of um, put my hand in the in the left-hand pocket uh, and break from there. Kind of not not exactly where the eight is, mm. but just just a few inches to the right-hand side of that, the kind of that area. Yeah, so Cormac with another nice split here. He didn't get that yellow into the corner, but he made one in the opposite corner. And in the left centre, that ball you were talking about. So a really good chance here again. Um, I mean, yeah, I can't really see how these are going to go wrong. He's, he's fine here. He can just push through and get rid of his awkward ball down the bottom. Um, I think that the next shot coming up is the key one if it goes right. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I think he's going to just try and track that gap between the two reds on the centre and play for them into the centre, middle pockets. Um, he'll be playing for a choice of balls here and wherever he lands. Yeah, just like that. And he's come just far enough. So that's a good shot. That, that cut break is is always going to split opinion. Uh, there's no question there's always going to be people, you know, there's, there's people out there that, that call for it to be banned. Mm -hmm. But... Um, you know, Cormac is uh, you know another player that it just proves that to have this in your arsenal. You know, I mean, it, it, he's he plays it so well and he's having so much success with it. Yeah, so, you know, and why, like, why would you ever change? Yeah, exactly. It's um, I don't think Cormac's got the best front ball break because, and that's why he used the side one. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see I can see the arguments against it. Um, and and I often look at there's a couple of obvious players. Um, I don't want to pick on him, but I mean Ronan. I mentioned it earlier. It's if he has any weakness in his game, it's probably his break. Same probably with Mark Farnsworth. You know, he's another player who I think he's gone to the cup break yeah, as well. Yeah, and and I saw I watched Ronan play earlier, and he, he just he doesn't entertain it. He's, he's front ball break all the time, and you think, well, maybe he kind of brings that into his game. So frame six, Tom Cooney trailing by three. He needs gone one. Back, gone back to the centre ball break. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the white was going to the corner. It was. The yellow, so he's had a stroke of luck there, but I mean, these have come out lovely as well, these yellows. Yeah, that cue ball was going precariously close. I think he deserves that little bit of luck, maybe. Um, he hasn't really done a whole pile wrong in this match, Dom, and he's, he's falling down. He, the break of Cormac's break has been so good, I think he's cleared all three of his breaks yeah. so far. Yeah. yeah. Dom's just missed one chance. Great opportunity here, though. Yeah, he, he needs this frame really. And that, he's got away from, him and he's he's got it. He's still he's still okay. Mm. He just needs to play this long yellow, and I think he'll be fine. But mm, there's a little bit of pressure on this now because he knows he should have been much better. The thing is, when you're playing a player like Cormac, who's breaking as well as he is. Yeah. It's hard to find a way back into the match, isn't it? You're sat in your seat mm. thinking, when up, where are my chances going to come from? You know you're going to be relying on luck somewhere yeah. to, to get back into it. But yeah, yeah he's he's just lost the white here a little bit. But um, I I mean, I think he's going to play the one on the left left side, and I'd just be getting down on it and giving myself, yeah, instead of wasting time because you need concentration for this one. And you've got it to play that very well. Yeah, yeah. He's back in good position here. Really nice touch. Has to make sure he leaves the the right angle on yeah, the one to middle though. A little bit tricky. Yeah. Again, there's nothing really for short. Oh, he's it's okay. Yeah. So does that eight ball go past the red? Yeah, so if he wants to leave the white down, screw over pretty much get back to where he is yeah yeah it's perfect just needs to make sure he doesn't under hit this it's the type of shot where you're going to be afraid of the white goal white going into the middle yeah oh that's clever very nice makes things so much easier when you can see those see those shots 
to yeah, so it's, qu- it's quite possible that he only had half a pocket for the eight balls. So unless he landed perfect, it was going to be tricky. But yeah, yeah he's took them well. <laughs> After a loose first shot, he's uh, he's recovered well. And John McAllister. And he's made that yellow into the centre again. And a little bit closer this time, but you know, they're still all right. I think that red goes in off the eight ball. The eight ball will be moving though, because I think he has to play a little bit firm. doesn't even have a yellow to go at so if he fancies trying to develop them here possibly but yeah he looks like he's going to screw into that yellow and try and make something happen I'd be inclined to just try and track that red or track the gap and play the red in off the eight ball yeah yeah I don't think I'd be trying to do too much here and it's come out okay I think he'd be happy enough with that he's got a cut to the centre and he's going into the yellow down below so I think he's not too bad here if he gets this one right um, because he's going to be moving that yellow away from the black spot it's freeing up that red beside the yellow to that corner it just needs to fight the enough yeah Ooh, uh, that was the risk ouch that was the risk. It was set up perfectly to win off, if unless he caught the yellow full ball. That could be a big turning point in this match. Yeah, we said that a few times now, haven't we? It's um, just you think that Cormac's gonna gonna pull away. Something happens, and back Dom comes. Okay. Yeah. So everything goes now. Um, just getting on his next ball is quite tricky here. He m he might opt to just sort of bounce this off the cushion, maybe half an inch, and leave himself the long yellow to the corner. And I think he'd be happy enough with that. He mightn't risk playing this firm into the corner to try and get down the table because he could miss it. But if it's slightly off the rail, he can do it. Yeah, and he's done that. It was easier than it looked. I still would have played the other one because. I mean, just in terms of connecting the balls, I would have tried. To, I would prefer to have that one off the table now. Yeah. And be where I am because you can just pot this and then come down for the one over the corner and then centre and be home and host. So he needs to leave himself a nice angle to screw across here. And he's come down. He's played that nicely. He's just about got there. Gives himself the options here, but yeah. So he. He'll take yellow into the center and then he'll drop that one to the corner and then the last yellow will drop into the center. Shot. Yep, good angle. Very intriguing game. Cormac. He's always been in control, but uh, Tom, with these last two balls, is going to pull back within one frame. Obviously, Cormac still has the um, the break of serve, so it, he will be breaking in the next. So it's still advantage him. Really interested to see how uh, how Clayton fares this weekend. And uh, Chris Day is five one up against Andy Williams. And those are the first games from the last 64 of Pro Event 2. So Dom breaks. And bit of a stinky table. And you can see from the way he's uh, he's given it the eye. He doesn't like this much at all. And you can see why. The, the, the two reds that just dropped in he would have loved for them both to have sat on the table so I mean I think you've got to be taking yellows here in my opinion you just take this and you you play the loss of torn down the bottom yeah it's inter you interesting you saying that Stevie and the only reason I say it is that I think a lot of club players a lot of you know um, when Wednesday night league players would look at that table and think oh. yeah, he's perfect here 
because he can play so so that's clever the way he's played it instead of playing the yellow onto the red he's going to try and snooker him yeah with the yellow here yeah um, he'd be hoping to cover at least the top two yeah so that's perfect so yeah. there's nothing really Cormac can go out here just using the rules to his, his advantage yeah, it's, it's in such an awkward position to get out that yeah, that red um, yeah I, d I don't really know what Cormac's going to do here he just has to I suppose play some sort of shot and um, maybe not leave it very easy for um, for Dom. He can just um, yeah, just don't leave him perfect. Just play that plant in the corner and screw into the other balls. That's what he's done, just a bit of a container one, but uh, Dom might be able to put him in a, in a tricky spot, especially if he nudges the, the out the top of these two yellows into play here, and that's a good shot. I think he might have still left this, but I mean, where that right is, apart from leaving himself a back double, I don't really see anything he can do with it. I mean, if I'm Cormac here, I'm going game because I I don't really see any other option of how he can win this frame. He has to play the long one to the corner. Or is he just trying to tie this one up? Mm, he hasn't done so. No. And they're all there now. This game could very quickly, should very quickly be four each. Yeah, and he's played that. He's played this frame well. It must be said, Dom. I know, as we were alluding to at the start, some people might have went red here because the red was over the corner, and he had the other one beside. He could have played some sort of plant, but yeah. um, he just there was no need to go game, and you know he just played one pretty simple shot. It must be said, and you know he's in total control since. Yeah. Oh, oh no, wow. Dom! That's just. I mean, it's nothing but an unforced error. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just very careless. No reason for that whatsoever. And he's lucky that that red doesn't go past the yellow, so look, he's still in good position here. But if if Cormac can play some sort of shot here that makes it awkward, what he can... He could try and, you know, play this and screw the white down to that bottom corner and hope that he covers everything. And he hasn't got that, so... No. That was a no. very high risk shot he was playing there. Um, yeah, I think I would have tried to rely on a bit of luck there, just yeah. to get the white down to that corner pocket. And I'm not saying he was guaranteed to win the frame, but the thing is, even if he gets the pocket there, it you doesn't know, doesn't do him any favours. No, and this has gone a bit awkward for Dom because he doesn't have that yellow over there that he was guaranteed to be on. The way he's played that's quite poor, and he's got away with it. Oh, what a lovely little flick as well. Yeah, to be, to be honest with you, he played that in such a way that he had to get back out for the mm. one on the right-hand side. Um, he'd be happy with where he is now. The red S just gave it a little a little push and just yeah. pushed it closer. Slightly uh, slightly hampered here, but he should be fine. I think it's fine, yeah. Um, just get out and he can... He, on his original shot, he, he just got there. On his original shot, I don't think... He, I think he knocked his eight ball and out of the way for the centre pocket so yeah, yeah. I think he has to go to the top now but if he can get the white anywhere around the, the eight ball spot here he'd be, he'd be happy oh this is a little bit of a tester mm. yeah it certainly think, is I think Dom expected to be closer than he is now on that shot so a bit of pressure on this this is when you just got to rely on the fundamentals keep that back arm straight cue through Oh, really nice. And that, yeah, again, wow. <laughs> he's trying to make those two balls, the one in the right corner and the one in the middle, and he's made one of them, either one of them every time, sometimes two, and in this case he's made both. What a break. Four balls. They were literally racing themselves to get into the pocket. And what a chance. Two of each in... Um, just wide open. I guess the, the the toughest one here is the 
the red on the well I guess furthest on the left hand side it's just got those um, the balls above it but even that's not a he's played that nicely though yeah. he just had the miss that it didn't have much of a margin for her there. oh it's gone a bit yeah, awkward on him he's just sat on top of the because he wanted to stun hmm. back into the eight ball yeah yeah he might have to follow through here oh It's okay, but yeah, he's perfect. He's yeah, perfect. he played that well. Yeah, he can just stun down and whatever he lands on, he's got the one over the pocket. But he'll be trying to get the one in the middle here. And if he can't hold it, he'll just uh, he'll come down for the. Oh, he's quite thin actually, as you can see there. Yeah, so yeah, he's fine. He always had that ball over the pocket, and um, yeah, this 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 break is just firing on all all cylinders for Cormac yeah, at the he's moment. Just getting such such great chances. Um, it's very hard for Tom to do it, and he's he's done well to be only five four behind. Yeah. And he's just come a little. Oh, you know he's fine. He can drift yeah. down and play the ball in the centre. He wanted to be straight there. Perfect. Very nice. So five four to Mr. Kerr. You could do a pulling down that t-shirt at the back <laughs> or tucking it in. We've seen many players get good chances and not finish them, so can't take them for granted. Dry or not dry, don't Nick? What are you saying? He's gonna pick. He's gonna make a ball. But the way this game's gone so far, I think it's going to be a bit of a fiddly finish. Oh, you oh. put the course on him. You put the course on him. I did. A couple of balls tried to to go into that middle pocket. If he's on that plant to the centre of the yellows, this looks like another very good chance. Look at this. One on the knuckle, two on the knuckle. And I think he is on it. Yeah, he can play this yellow one to the other one. And these, these should be gone. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, uh, oh, oh. And he's well, he's covered it. If I curse Dom, then <laughs> I've cursed you Cormac. just you just made it one each. Yeah, well, I think Dom's <laughs> going to go reds because of the way that that's ended up. He's freed up the bottom red to go in off, and he can, he can free that middle pocket then. Where is he looking to put this yellow one? Oh, I don't like this. He's screwing off the yellow one, playing this. Ooh. And, he can, yeah. and he's played it well. Yeah. I mean, couldn't have come out any better, no. but it could have went wrong. Yeah. There was a bit of risk in that one. Yeah, I don't think he ever entertained reds. If he'd have, if he'd have taken a look at them, he may well have decided to go for them. But he saw that opening shot, and uh, yeah, as you say, it came out really well. Yeah, so he's perfect here now. I think I'd be leaving the one down the bottom as my last one, but I think Dom wants to get the white back to where it is. I think he's landed perfect on it now, so he might opt to come back up for either of these yellows in the centre. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I'm not against this shot. If he plays it with right-hand side, he should get it. Oh, that is... He's played that one poor. He's got away Ooh. with it, though. He's yeah. got away with it. He's left himself a shot here, but that was always the risk with that, that one. That could have so easily gone horribly no, wrong, Stevie. Un unless he was guaranteed to have the angle and come up the table. I yeah. mean, there was a lot for too far there. Yeah. He might have to screw this in, and then he's tinning the bottom one, so... He's still got his extension, but that was... Do you think it's... Do you think it's in off? No, he can screw yeah. it. He's got, he's got a clear side of this. He's not hampered. So... It's enough he plays the playing ball, but I think yeah, he can stun yeah. it to the side rail and just leave. He's going to be a little bit of a tougher black than he'd want, but yeah. he's fine here. But he's going to possibly be down around the balk line here. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be a longer yeah, eight than he'd like. This is the type of shot here now where he could he could try and cheat the middle pocket here and end up missing it. No, he's played it well. 
about as well as he could have played yeah, it yeah. off the rail so I would be stunning this one in but it depends however he feels comfortable no way off on so he can play it and he's got it good shot he's played it natural very nice and uh, 10 frames played there's absolutely nothing to split these two players so let's see will he get that yellow to the corner again no and he didn't get to the other one Oh, wow. come dry. His first dry break of the match. What a time to get it. And Dom, these yellows look lovely. Um, he, if he can make this first ball to the centre, it's tricky because the white's tight on the rail, but well, it's just come off it. Tricky opening, but he's got that He's got that one tied up beside the red, but he's got a great, I suppose, breaker ball beside it. Um, but, yeah, I think Dom just has to give 100% of the pot here and figure it out after that. Oh, he's just crept in. Glance the yellow on the way yeah, through. Yeah, he's been lucky there because there was no in between. He, he he missed that. I don't think he played that that way, but maybe he did. But that was his breaker ball. So now it's gone a little bit more awkward. Does he have an angle that he could he could top it through? He's almost straight. May just have an angle he could top through into that. Yeah, into I think that bad yellow. I think he needs to um, yeah play this one because the one that's on the left hand side is now his breaker ball. He's, yeah, he's played that perfect. Yeah. So if he can nudge the red here, screw into the red. Well, maybe he doesn't have that angle. I think he may. The only the only concern here is you, you don't want to hit that red too hard and push it in amongst the the other yellows and mess up another one of your balls. Yeah, like there's no in off it on here, so he can he can play at a pace, but you feel like this is the key shot in the frame. Um, if he clips off the red and goes down, that one that's closest to the left-hand side of those three, it goes to this bottom corner. So that's what he's looking at, I think, because it, it they're the two balls, you would say, he's the best chance of being on. And that's come out lovely if he's yeah. on that one. Oh, he stopped in his tracks. He has, but... Does he think he's not on it? I surely he's on something here. Looks like he's on the middle. Oh. Yeah, he's on that. He's on that. It's tight, isn't it? But what's his next ball? Hmm. Yeah, he's not going for it. And that's a great shot. That's a great shot. That was a lot more difficult than it looked because... He was playing to be on this one. He had to get the cannon right. Awkward cue and the pot wasn't a gimme. Um, so he's in good position here now. Just enough angle here as well to punch across table as well, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, punched it. Still not out of jail yet. Has he got he's had to travel. He's absolutely perfect. Yeah. So he can drop this through for the opposite corner. So a good pressure finish, you must say, assuming he, he does get take care of his work here and get the job done. Um, but an unfortunate time for Cormac's break to let him down. Yeah, that's a, a huge swing. Tom Cooney. With this eight ball. Yeah, still three minutes away from um, the 15 second shot clock. So the match is moving along. Oh, cue ball. Well, you can see Cormac. His arms went up chance. in the air. He's a good chance. Yeah. If he's on this red, he's a little bit of a grimace on the face there, Don, but I think he's doing a Phil Harrison on it. If you could see uh, if you could see Cormac in the background, you could just see his body language. His arms went up in the air. and uh, It doesn't uh, look like he's on that red, actually, which does make it, things a little bit interesting because if that one doesn't go... I mean, if he's on that, the Reds is a great chance, but... I think I think it goes, surely. Yeah, he's not. No. He's not going for it. No. Well, he's going to cut this yellow in, is he? That is 10. Great shot. Oh, oh dear. That makes things interesting. Doesn't it? Doesn't it ever? So 
It's got the yellow that you can play off of that yellow. Yeah, so that's where he wants to get to. He's going to try and play this yellow off the yellow and drift over for the one on the flat mm. cushion at the same time. Still could go wrong. Oh, <coughs> that is not where he wanted to be. No. I, I can't believe he hasn't screwed that in and tried to widen the angle because now he's relying to be on the ball over the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless he's going to hit this firm and screw the wide off the ball cushion and back down to that side, but this is this is a big, big shot. I think if you play this, oh, and he's played Whoa. it clean. And he's got away with it a little bit because that that red, the yellow is now gone in front of that red, and that was the ball to go inside that yellow. But Cormac would be delighted to get a chance here. I mean, Cormac does have a red on that side of the table if he can find get a way to get him. across there. Uh, yeah, or even you can play the loss of turn if you just drop the pot the yellow and stick the white to the red. Yeah. Um, you might be leaving a double, but the other yellow's in an awkward position. He's left the angle to get oh, across. Yeah, that's what he's doing. So it's a similar shot to the one I don't like this, Dom though. just tried. I don't like this. I'm just going to put it out there. I do not like this. <laughs> what? Because he, he's, you know, what's he going to be on next? He needs to... This, this is a tough shot because I think it's a safer shot if he'd have just come down the table and played the loss of turn. Can he not? Dom with no shot. Can he not just top this through into the gap and then take the one that's on the on the black spot? Oh, he's relying he's on a bit of luck. Got there. <laughs> he's happy, but I mean, see what I said? If that red does not come over there, he's no shot. Mm. And he's absolutely perfect because he can kick into that yellow or red now. He's just drifted onto it. That's played that perfect. That's a great shot. That's a really good shot. Much better than it looked because you know it's hard when you're playing it to skid off the cushion with side. It's hard to judge the pace, and he's got it perfect. So, what could have been a tough pot is now a pretty straightforward one for Cormac here. Um, and we're going to the hill. We certainly are. We are going to play a deciding frame with a 15-second shot clock. Could be some entertainment. Could be some fun left in this frame in this match yet. Dom will be kicking himself. And to be fair to Dom, he was unlucky when he played his first shot to kick that. I mean, if he doesn't kick that red onto that yellow, you know, you would fancy him to take the yeah. red. But yeah. And to be fair to Cormac, that was a, that was that was his best finish of the match as well um, in the last frame. So, and he's got a red. And made a ball. And they've <laughs> come out <laughs> Look at absolutely these. beautiful. He's got one little shot he needs to manage with the red over the centre. Thing is, Stevie, I mean... I was drawn to reds there, but the yellows could be okay as well. Oh, they're all clustered. Yeah, he's not, and he doesn't have one, so... He just he can cannon this red out of the way here. No, he's not going to try and cannon <coughs> it. So he'd love to have been on the inside one of those two, but he's not on it, so... That red does go to the corner. Yeah. Or maybe he is. Yeah, he looks like he is. Oh, he's perfect. It's fine, yeah. Dom will be fuming if he loses this one after doing so well to get back into the match and get ahead and give himself the chance to win it and what a roller coaster there yeah it's been a great match I must say yeah really good enjoyable match bit of a loose one there from Cormac is it he's coming out he's leaving this awkward one as his last ball should be fine yeah he's fine he just needs to if you're not right behind that red it becomes a difficult pot yeah and he's good he can just screw this back for the middle pocket so good shot required here and he's got it Lovely. very nice there a great a great match it must be said and Cormac's just got over the line and into his first pro series semi-final um, so a huge win for him